This week, Miami-Dade County Commissioners are expected to vote on whether to extend a lease agreement that would move along a plan to bring a water theme park to Zoo Miami property. Now, wildlife experts say the water park would be would impact critical habitat, but those behind the project insist nearby wildlife would be protected. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho joins us now with more on the pushback from both sides. If they want to come after me, if they want to fire me over this, I leave with my head held high. Ron McGill has spent four decades working at Zoo Miami. He comes forward now as a private citizen. On Friday, he wrote a 2,500 word letter denouncing the nearly two decades long Miami Wilds water park project on the county owned zoo grounds. Zoo Miami, critical habitat, Pine Rockland is not the right location. The development site would be the parking lot spaces adjacent to Zoo Miami. McGill wants the project terminated because he is concerned about endangered wildlife in the protected Pine Rocklands ecosystem in the forest bordering the project's location. All of these animals are connected to our general health. When you eliminate one of those links in the chain, the chain breaks and you never know when that can become catastrophic. Living in Pine Rockland includes the endangered Florida bot and a bat, the tiger beetle, and dozens of other imperiled species living in protected land. Really mind-boggling that the county wants to plow all of this biodiversity away and replace it with a theme park. Elise Bennett with Biological Diversity serves as lead counsel in the federal case against the National Park Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Miami-Dade County. Park Service completely failed to do these environmental reviews. Park Service's job in taking this action to remove those land use restrictions was to make sure that it's not going to endanger the very existence of these species. On Wednesday, the Miami-Dade County Board of County Commissioners will vote to create a new lease agreement with Miami Wilds. The executive summary reveals the National Park Service admitted most of the allegations and concede that they did not undertake the reviews required by federal law in the 2022 amended lease with Miami Wilds. This is not a binary choice between water park and wildlife. We're confident that the wildlife will be protected. Miami Wilds manager Paul Lambert shows us plans for the project still waiting to break ground. We've mitigated by, by shrinking the footprint of the project to just the parking area that you can see here. Funding from Miami Wilds that it's going to funnel some of that funding into restoration of the forest which is in very bad condition today. Lambert adds Miami Wilds will not destroy existing natural spaces or green space. Additionally he says the project itself will be a county economic driver. Look at the numbers. The day it opens uh, Joe it's going to be uh, it'll, it'll be among the top 10 employers in this part of Miami-Dade County. I understand the value of a water park. There are other places in South Florida that it can be built. I will support it in the right location. Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami.